<laughs> Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Altar of Plagues LP, Teeth, Glory, and Injury. Altar of Plagues is an Ireland-based atmospheric black metal outfit who began around the mid-2000s. And if you listen to this band's music, their two previous LPs, or some of their early EPs, you can catch influences from not only black metal, but shoegaze as well as post-rock. And they hammer a lot of these tracks out with typical black metal sounds and instrumentation, tremoloed guitars, harsh distortion, blast beat drumming, wretched vocals, and the winding passages and very long song lengths in their albums hint toward a lot of ambition, especially on their last full-length album, M Mammal, which did have some really epic and beautiful moments on it. But rarely, from beginning to end with an Altar of Plagues album, did I feel like the writing was eventful enough or unique enough to justify the very long lengths that this band stretches their tunes out to. Certainly the band would add details like some chanting or some female vocals. Their writing and the variety across their albums is, is definitely definitely a bit meatier when compared to a band like Ashborer, but I was really caught off guard when I was hearing some tracks initially coming out from this album, tracks like God Alone, a track that is incredibly straightforward, very riff-oriented, amazing vocals on the track that are just chilling. I'm positive after listening to this album, a lot of people are still going to file this record under the atmospheric black metal genre label. But the band's compositions on this new LP are much less drawn out. The longest track on this LP is 8 minutes, with many of the other songs on here landing in about the 4 minute range. And this time around, the production is much less cavernous as well, with the drums, the vocals, and the riffs being right up front and much more substantial. On this record, they really have brought fire urgency and detail that I feel the band's other stuff might have been kind of lacking. For sure, Teeth Glory is a step, a big step, toward the engaging. Angular, jagged riffs, strings, faint electronics, really strange synthesizers, intense vocals, shouts, howls, and dissonant strange guitars that feel like they have more in common with noise rock than they do black metal. These are just a handful of the elements that the band uses to really sort of tear out everything that you once knew about Altar of Plagues and really remodel their sound and style from top to bottom because they've really turned it into something that is not only sort of unpredictable and challenging on this record, but very brutish. Very rarely does the band throw a, a sort of expansive black metal scape out there that you can sort of get lost in or really admire the haze and kind of, you know, sit back. No. This is much more fierce and groove-oriented. And the grooves and occasionally melodies on this LP are grooves and melodies that aren't usually rocked in black metal music. Like the song 12 Was Ruin, where the beat as well as the guitars have a really strong Middle Eastern flair to them. It's almost something I would see like the band Grails playing on one of their albums. The song God Alone is a track that is played in 3-4 with a huge emphasis with dissonant guitars on the 1 and 2 beat. And the song Burnt Year almost has this one, two, one, two strange dance music like feel to it with this looped polyrhythm. It feels like some kind of noise or, or percussion loop going on in the background, just adding another element to the rhythm. And to make the track even more of a standout, this song may just have the most intense and just huh, fear inducing vocals on this entire record. Yeah. I mean, they really sound freakish. And that's another thing I really admire about this album before I go on about any other tracks. The vocals do have some real personality. Occasionally they toy a bit with those typical black metal wretches, but some of the lyrics are very audible on this LP. And everything from the more guttural growls to the ear-piercing shrieks make many of the songs on here just, ah, oh, stick in the back of my head. Furthermore, with the song Burnt Year, the song progresses into some black metal drum 
drum blasts that are backed up with shots of noise. Eventually the song melts into these droning, somewhat ambient tones. Surprise, 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 and then the band finishes things off with a really epic and somewhat noisy ascent. It's a thrill ride, and it's an incredibly grim thrill ride. It's like a funeral march through a river of blood that is pouring into some kind of gargantuan demon's mouth, quenching his bloodthirst. Anyway, this thing is loaded with riffs and grooves of different shapes and sizes, really adding variety across the nine tracks on this album, and what medium these grooves sort of come in, whether it be guitar or drums or some kind of electronic loop, which is the band's surprise of choice right in the middle of the very vast and slow track, A Remedy and a Fear. And this surprise loop eventually guides the song into some really heavy, heavy guitars. And mind you that these heavy guitar passages sit in between a very quiet moment with chilled out, harmonious chorus vocals that, that almost sound cultish in how they're delivering their, their stone-faced singing. And after all of this comes distorted, dissonant, overmodulated guitars and electronics that just overwhelm the senses. Altar of Plagues is taking some serious risks, stepping outside of their black metal comfort zone, and writing some really exciting songs in the process. The song quickly segues into the next track with a quick drone, and that's another thing I like about this LP. So many of the tracks segue into one another, whether it be very logically with the same tone or the ending of one song really going to the beginning, or maybe just sort of a quick rush to sort of overlap the two elements of the album. And this really makes Teeth Glory a very holistic listening experience. For sure, that was also the case with Altar of Plague's other releases, but as I've already said, I'm a little crazier for the material that they're writing on this album. Especially since one four-minute track on this album may contain a handful of different ideas that are pieced together in a really interesting way. For the most part, the production, the recording on this thing is pretty straightforward. It kind of gets the job done, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it just presents the instrumentation and the band's great playing and fantastic writing and surprise song structures on this thing make that a delight. But there are some weird recording and mixing choices on this album for sure. The loops and some of the electronics the band chooses to use on many of these tracks don't exactly meld with the instrumentation in a very natural way from time to time. Songs may make a huge jump in volume from one moment to another. There may be a riff that jumps out feeling as if it is two times louder than anything else in the mix on a certain track. Considering the unorthodox past that black metal has had in terms of recording and mixing, I actually thought a lot of these strange quirks brought the album more character rather than kind of ruin my experience with it. Despite the saturation of ideas and sounds that are thrown at the listener, the flow and the evolution of this album is really sort of clear and impressive. The album is just like a mess of different ideas, but they're stitched together into this evil quilt of evil. And it just feels like there are a lot of stylistic, inspirational points for this album. Everything from metal to maybe a little bit of noise music, post-rock, experimental rock, electronic music, a little bit of industrial music too. It's amazing that all of these influences come together in a way where it's very obvious where it's all coming from, and yet it's so uniform in its mood and its sound. The album is so tortured, it's so head-splitting, it is so pained. The only variation from this mood is really the last track of the album, which features a pretty heavy post-rock-like ascension that brings things in a pretty triumphant territory. I'm really impressed with this LP. I thought it was great, one of the better metal experiences I've had this year. If you've given it a listen, what did you think of it? I'm pretty much feeling a strong A to a light nine on this thing. What should I review next? And uh, yeah, that's it. Altar of Plagues, Teethed Glory and Injury, forever.